Hey everybody, KB with you. Welcome to Tuesday Night Festivities. Tonight we are going to have Raging Out Iaquinta on, which is gonna be pretty effing awesome, if I may say so. Um, I do, hopefully, I want people to, you know, join in here and Al is staying up late. He's gonna be joining us, he's on the East Coast. We know he's fighting next week, so it's pretty cool that he's gonna be joining us. So please show your support and show him lots of love because we're keeping him up late a week and a half before his fight. So, um, but Hanato and I will also talk about uh, Paulo Costa versus Marvin Vittori. I feel like even, even if we can't do it while Al is here, we'll have a debate probably going about pizza toppings because we're feeling real New York-y, uh, which is why I'm not really in costume. I know it's almost before Halloween. This is kind of my throwback to what I used to dress like back in New York uh, when I lived there. I got the big hat. I need the real gold door knocker earrings. I don't have those, but anyway, uh, I'm very glad you guys are here. And yeah, so I'm doing the roll call. Uh, okay, what's up, Ryan? What's up, PopZ22? What up, Andy863? What up, L Johnny 213 What up, Mystic Black? What up, Diago? What I missed your number. What up, Crash Andrew Coot? Uh, let's say, hey, what up, Spoonie? What up? Hey, everybody. Okay, so yeah, we're going to try to get this going. Uh, what up, Eric uh, Capillari? Maki Karatov, too. Sorry. Uh, okay, I'm trying. Coach Holland 9. What up? What's up, School 44? What up, Jim Roth? What up, Turtle Shark 88? All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we go. We got some good stuff going on here. Um, so yeah, so like I said, Al is fighting Bobby Green at UFC 268, which is going to be incredible. Bobby is such a fun fighter too. You know, I feel like this is a fight between uh, two guys that a lot of people like. So it's sort of a it's sort of a tough one. But Raging Al has been a guy that has been on the UFC roster for quite some time now and has never been in a boring fight. We know he's famous for you know the you boo and me and all this stuff. Um, you know, he, he's a person who has uh, had a lot of attention on him and I find, I have, I personally have always found him to be so incredibly likable. So uh, I'm just really, really glad that he is here with us today. Um, okay. So what up? All right. What up, Teresa Betts? You're going to be there? Oh, you're going to the fights. Good for you. Lucky you. Uh, I'm not working that one, unfortunately. Um, but I, uh, I of course will be watching and of course we will also, Hanato and I will talk about UFC 267, which is going on this weekend. That is the one over at Abu Dhabi. That is Jan Blachowicz against Glover Teixeira, one of Hanato's, uh, countrymen in the main event there. So that is, uh, the light heavyweight title fight, which should be pretty, pretty great. And then also Corey Sandhagen and Piotr Jan are fighting for the vacant Bantamweight title that, uh, Aljo is, uh, un unfortunately currently his neck surgery, he was doing better. And then the medics, uh, for UFC didn't clear him so unfortunately hopefully uh he'll be able to come back sooner than later uh all right what up joe cito 47 uh what up andy 863 bobby is a cool dude uh what up john 01 what up uh nikki lays 949 long island in the house strong island strong island in the house uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. hey everybody hey nico watson um, yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, we'll get into some stuff. Jim, Jim Roth is asking Rose or, uh, or Wei Li Zhang, you know, that one is going to be an incredibly tough fight. My heart is always going to be with Rose. I've known her since before she was in the UFC. So that one I'm, I just fully like admit to being hundred percent biased. Um, but I also think she's an incredible fighter. Uh, Zhang Wei Li is amazing. I was in China when she won her title and that felt so cool to be sitting by the octagon and I filmed it and everything. And I remember sending it to her. She's such a cool girl. Like it, to me, you know, really made the best woman win. But if you're asking me, like my heart, I'm like, I've, I've known Rose a long time. That's my friend. So if you were asking like, hey, do you want your friend to win the fight? Like, yeah, <laughs> I do. But it doesn't mean I don't like the other person. And I don't, it doesn't mean I can't appreciate how incredibly talented the other person is. But speaking of Rose, Rose and Pat were on the show a few weeks ago and we had so much fun. So you should just go back and look. Uh, that is on my Instagram here and then it's also on YouTube. Hopefully Instagram works tomorrow. I know they've changed some things, but uh, you can find the old shows on my, on my feed and stuff. And Rose and Pat were absolutely awesome. So I believe uh, now we will maybe have Hanato. Is Hanato here? Is Hanato here? Ah. Hey. Hi. There he is, Paha. There he is. Well, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, yeah. I got my fucking New York Knicks, Paha. Don't, Don't fucking go, bro. Don't fucking go. 
What happened? Are the Knicks any good? Now? Hey, listen, why you, why you gotta be, why can't you be in the past? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, okay, Patrick Ewing, how much did Patrick Ewing score? Patrick Ewing hasn't played in fucking, I don't know how long. You just told me to live in the past. Oh, how much did he score? Oh, he had like uh, 20, 10, and, and, and five. Okay. You literally just told me to, okay. okay. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Why you sound low? Let me. Do I? I don't know. Just I'll to try. me though. I don't know. I, I'm trying to fix my volume and I'm trying to fix my light. I don't, it's not, ta you have me so messed up about being at a Del Taco. Well, I want you to, we got to have a mood lighting here. Look at that one. Should I, I want you to be able to saw the Knicks. Should there I take it down go. a little? Ah. I don't know if that's better or worse. For seeing the Nick? <laughs> you look good. Now, I know I look good for her. I'm talking about the Knicks. And I was talking about myself. I was new. Oh, I know. Ain't that, a, ain't that always the way it is, God, I... Um, so somebody said, this is legendary live. Please keep them coming. We fully plan to. Yeah, uh, we keep it coming as long as we, as we hear for her. Yeah. I mean, Hanato was, I, you almost got poached. If I'm not being honest, I'm a little, I love me some Michael Bisping, but did he, or did he not try to poach you today? Listen, I'm not at liberty to say, um, him, you know, you got to start treating me a little better. You got to start giving me some of your purse from uh, what's your show on UFC or whatever? Yeah. Well, no, I, I, I would think that I would give you anything that we would generate from this. Why would I give you money for my UFC job? Because we didn't generate nothing from this yet and I need to wipe my beak for her. <laughs> when I'm gonna get mine? Look. Do some seminars. Look at you. So pull myself up by my uh, my my bootstrappy, huh? I see how it is. God, are you? Um, I want some of what you making. I want the big box. They're wearing theirs. I, I want mine. I did my caper. I know, but don't you do high rollers? Aren't you doing? Yeah, but I had to work for that. I want you to. I want some of what you got, or else I'm I walk. Wait, let's see. A lot of people was watching. No, no. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. I don't, I, 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 somebody, Dor, Dorun is asking me, Dor, or Dor Run, do I love Hanato? It's of offense. course. It's of course offense. you love that one. We hate the ones we love most. Isn't that true? Yeah, that is probably true. But it's not even, it's not, I don't, I would, Hanato, I would love to pay you. Uh, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll find, maybe if we get some sponsors for this, I can start to pay you. Okay. Oh, Kenny Skywalker, but why we have to bring up Charles Smith for her? I like to forget Charles Smith. Oh, I need to pay you in acais, people are saying. No, I got enough fucking acai for her. No, well, all right. Well, listen, Al, whenever he comes on, whenever he's ready, we're going to jump him in because I know he needs to uh, get to his, um, you know, he needs to get his rest. He's fighting Bobby Green. I know, and I know he's that fighting a black guy. Yeah, I know you're a person. I feel like Bobby Green is a guy that Hanato appreciates. I oh, uh, I love me some Bobby Green. I love the way he fight. He have an exciting style. He talks yeah. shit. He do some. I like his his head movements and his face and his uh just his whole style for her. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, he's a lot of fun. But um, you know, how's my light, by the way, without I, changing the subject? I think it's pretty good. Do people? How did the fan? How do people feel about it? Okay. Goal. Everybody says. I mean, you're looking good. You look. You look good. Yeah. Go New York. Go New York. Go. Okay. So here's my question to you, Hinato. Uh, while we yeah. wait for Al Iaquinta, are you? How do you know so much about New York? Because obviously you are uh, Brazilian, and I just didn't know what your backstory. Because I lived in Manhattan for seven years personally. I, I absolutely love it. I. I. I, I absolutely love living in New York. So, um, yeah. well, I'll tell you, I, the first time I moved, uh, off fresh off the boat, uh, from Hill, the first place I went was in Brazil, uh, uh, New York. Okay. okay. Uh, NYC. And that was, God, are you, that was the early 90. I think that was around 92, 93. Okay. And, uh, 
Well, those were some wild days back then. That was the early day, the UFC, you know, the UFC was, was just, you know, starting out and, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of Greek women, Haitian, Puerto Rican, yeah. Jewish. They have yeah, New York's a melting pot. It's it's yeah, a melting pot of different kind of punchan. <laughs> I like all that one. I avail myself. I'm not. I don't discriminate, Koha. Huh? Thank you. Somebody yeah. said I have quenches here. Yeah. No. I, I. 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 Yeah. Um, I don't think Al discriminates either. I have a feeling that hey. hey oh. Hey, he oh, carajo! Look at this guy. Oh. Oh. Hi, Al. How are you? Um, I'm in the let me look that facha for her. Oh, look at that. And the hair, the curly hair. Look at him. Always looks so good. Uh, uh -oh. it's, it's been too long that you got to gaze upon me. It's been too many years. Too many years now. Is it you, is it you on the, on the, is it, do you, there's a guy that's on, I started this, this show, the Call Me Out show, and there's a Hanach, there's a guy, and it sounds like you on the thing. Is it really? Where, where at? Someone's impersonating you. No, you can't have that one. That's like that's an imposter. What's it called? I know what he thinks. Am I am I? Yeah, no, I don't or know. Am I freezing? No, you're not frozen. Al froze up for a second. You know what? I think he's confused. There's a show called. What's that one called? Where it's like in England and it's all sexy and steamy. Bridgerton. Uh huh. He think that that I'm the guy. Bridgerton. Oh, you do look like him a little bit. I'm the. I, he, everybody think I'm Bridgerton. I get in all the restaurant. What's this fucking guy? Look. I, Hold on, I just sent. I did, He just looked to rejoin. So I'm. I'm. I'm putting him back in. I think this guy. Oh, oh. I he, thought I did. Oh gosh, I'm so tech savvy. This guy. This, whoa! I, I accidentally turned off. There he is. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Let's try this again. All right, okay. Well, I'm not good at that. I didn't my first Instagram uh, live with people, with three people. I don't know. It's, it's, it's your first live. It's my first live. I, listen, uh, I think you're confusing me with oh, the guy uh, from Bridgerton. Yes. Okay, the uh, guy, all the grandma and the moms and stuff want to wanna sleep with that guy. That's not me. No. All right. Different guy. Hey, black guy. You understand? Yes. I understand. Well, you look <laughs> what I wore in honor of you, my brother. Well, yeah, there we go. Come on, bro. That's the Latrell Sprewell, bro. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I want to be like one of those Puerto Rican that grew up in an Italian neighborhood and talk yeah. like an Italian guy. You understand? <laughs> I think you could pull it off if anyone. Totally. Could. Oh, come on, bro. Go. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's fucking go, bro. I got him on the phone here, bro. I got Ray Longo. What kind of phone is that? Hey, bro. I just texted Ray Longo. <laughs> oh my god. God, are you? Did you know what is that thing? What I, is it, that? That's a, that's a Samsung. That's a Chi Marble. I I still got unlimited night and weekend on that one. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. That's when you still depress like the three times to get the E four exact, times. Exactly. Exactly. You gotta know your stuff. Okay. Yeah. But that's before I, I quenched chime. You didn't have to pay your dues like we did. Oh, I had one of those. Are you kidding me? You had that? Oh, okay. Oh, I had the prepaid freaking come on, how I'm not that I'm not I'm freaking I'm getting up there, man. You're getting up there. You look so young. You have a baby face. Yeah, uh, you do. And you, do. you got that good hair. Get that a lot. He's great here. Hey, so listen, Al, it's a big fight for you. We were talking about Bobby Green before you got here. Hanato and I both really appreciate his fight style. Bobby has a fan-friendly style. And I would imagine upon getting that offer that that had to be something that you could appreciate too, right? That you kind of know that you guys have the potential to make a fight of the night, even though that card is so stacked. Yeah, he definitely has a unique style. That's for sure. I, I, I mean, it's hard to find people to, that fight like that, you know? But you got to yeah. kind of imitate him. Alger does a great job. Yeah. Alger a lot of head movement. A lot Alger, of face. Bobby puts his hands down. He's Aljo's, Aljo's been a big help uh, for, for, you know, the movement in this one. 
Um, a lot of shoulder hole and shit. And, a lot of shoulder hole, a lot yeah. of uh, uh, shit talk. He talks. Yeah. Hey, these black guys, they're all over the place talking. Hey, I'm a big, I'm a tough guy. I'm a hot shot. You know. Yep. But he it's does. Tough. He will talk to you during the fight. I'm glad that you had Aldo imitate that because I wanted to ask you about that because Bobby will yap all the way through the fight. Yeah, yeah. It's not some. It's something that I'm not unfamiliar with. I think I you're done with those guys when you go to Bay Plaza to watch your movies and stuff, <laughs> and you see those black guys talking at the movies. You go, "Hey, pay for my fucking candy. <laughs> hey, pay for my yeah. juju bees. You understand me?" <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it'll affect me. Okay. I think I'm. I think I'm prepared. I've. I've been. You know. I was. Khabib and I had a good little conversation going during the fight. Yep. Uh, Kevin Lee. I don't know what he was doing. Someone. <laughs> but. Uh, but Bobby Green, you gotta be careful. He could talk shit probably better than any of the guys you just talked about. He have a way of getting you angry, you know? Yeah. He, you know, cause he he's that kind of guy. He hits you with one and then talk, you know point at it and talk shit about that one and uh huh and get you into that pissing contest, you know? I I welcome that. I welcome it. I know. Yeah. That's why everybody want to see this shit. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Yeah. If 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 uh, if it starts going down that road, I definitely welcome it. Yeah. Um. Guys, his nickname is Raging Al. I mean, <laughs> that's true. Now, I got a question. Did you got that name? Is that a is that an homage to Jake Lamarch? Uh, sort of. Yeah, kind. Like, uh, I think it has some some uh, some of that, and then some of it's just my fighting style and my. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one day we were in the Ultimate Fighter house, and uh, things got a little out of control. And I broke a few things, and I started, I, I kind of let loose. And the the name R Raging Al was coined by Mike Kies and Sam, Sam Cecilia. I didn't know that. I thought you already had that. I didn't know that. Ah. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, once Uriah Faber, he was my coach on the season. Once the, the alpha male guys heard wind of it, they started calling me Raging Al. And then once uh, I was in the finale, uh, Ray Longo and Matt Serra came in and they were like, what is this raging out? We love it. Of course they love it. I yeah. mean, every, it's a great nickname and it, it harkened back to fucking Hajin Bull, you know? And it's yeah. no yeah. coincidence that the two fucking Italian guys in the house was the one who gave you that one. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. Cecilia and then Well, and it's great. And you know, I work with Kiesa all the time. So I was just working with him this past weekend and we were talking about you and I was like, yo, your boy's gonna be on with us on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, so of course he sends his best. Like, yes, is a good kid. And it's funny because I even said to him when we were sitting at the desk, I was like, this is crazy. I met you at, you know, media day and look at us, look at us now type thing. Isn't but it, it is it point. is incredible how long you've, you've been fighting and how long you've been in the UFC. And, you know, you had a title fight. And, and I kind of wanted to ask you, you just mentioned Khabib a second ago, um, you know, it's weird, right? Because that was sprung upon you. And a title fight is usually something that people aspire to and they dream about. And that all of a sudden was just thrust on you. So how do you even look back on that now? Do you consider it a real title shot for you? Is there, is there like, do you want to build toward another one? Like, how do you even process how that all happened and what it means for your career? Yeah, I don't know if it was a real, I don't know if it was kind of a, uh... I mean, it definitely was a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, it was just everything happened so fast. I felt like I, I was I remember thinking at the time, like, this is so crazy. Just slow it down and kind of like, you know, I try I was trying to slow the moment down in my head and slow the time down. And it was just a world when the, the bus instant, the bus thing with Connor and the bus. And then the next day I find out I'm fighting, uh, you know, some kind of for the title. And then the next day I fight for the title. Those three days, if there's, if there's ever three days in my life that are that crazy, then I can't imagine what it would, what it would be. Yeah, but that's, that's a once in a lifetime kind of, kind of situation. What, now you said, you said Kahabibi was talking shit. What kind of shit was he talking? 
Uh, he. Uh, we were talking. We were going back and forth. He. I think he. Uh, he jabbed, and he hit me with a jab, and he might. He might have hit me with two jabs. He was like one, two. I was yeah. like, I was like, all right, do another one. All right, another one, another. One. And he faked the jab, and then, uh, and then we were up against the cage, and uh, he was he was. Matt's. We were in our corner, and Matt was yelling instruction. And oh, and he was talking shit about the instruction. It was uh, like. It was like the fifth round. I'm freaking – I had trained for three rounds. I was just trying to <laughs> – at that point, I was trying to get off the mat and yeah. yelling at me, giving me the directions up against the cage, and Khabib's like, good, good, good instructions. Listen, ah. listen good instructions. And Matt was – I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. It was kind of – I'm like, talking to him. Never mind that. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind that, Khabib. Yeah. It was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was funny. It was fun. It was – at the time, it sucked, but looking back, it was like it was definitely, definitely some respect in there. And and yeah. my know. man, you did better against him than maybe anybody. Uh, yeah, that's the Ever. whole thing. Like you literally just said in round five, like hello, not other, like a lot of other people didn't make it that far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think I'm, I know how tough I am. I think it showed a lot of people how tough. I, I was. You you gained so many fans. I was already a fan, you know, uh, okay. uh, because. Because also you, with my paisan, you know, um, hey, Longo and, and Matt Serra, you know. Um, so I already love you from that and your style. But when you did that performance there, it was like, oh, man, this fucking kid, you know. I, I, for a minute there, I was like, this fucking guy might win this shit here. You yeah. Know? yeah. I, I, I really started to believe that one. Yeah, it was, uh, it just, it, it happened so fast, you know. It was, uh, but... I mean, like you said, it made it made uh, it got a lot of people behind me. Mm -hmm. So if if I didn't get the win, I guess it's still it's still a good thing that yeah, I pr perform. I, pr I put on a valiant performance. I, yeah, I, I I mean sometimes it's like that was maybe a bigger win than a some of your other win. You know, yeah. it's like in hockey, the first hockey, you you forget he lost the fight on that one. You know, right? But in he Rocky? gained the respect. You know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Chiu? Yeah, yeah. When he said like, "Ain't gonna be no, ain't gonna be no him match or whatever." The one, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because he didn't, he didn't want, he didn't want a fucking him match. Uh, um, whatever. Never mind that. Yes. Um, fucking hockey. So speaking of um of Hey Longo and, and Matt Sarah, now can you hear all that shit? Because it cracked us up when we. When we listening to these fucking guys, you can hear them even over everybody in the crowd. You can hear like knock his fucking head off out. Yeah, yeah, no, they definitely stand out. Um, I think if there's if there's two coaches that you want to have in your corner, as far I mean that it's those two guys and yeah. and yeah, it's I mean I train train with them. They they yelling in my sparring and. I just pick their voices out and mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, it's amplified by they're, they're the two guys that you can always hear louder than everyone else. So it's like, no matter how loud the crowd is, I pick them out and I hear, I hear them, uh, you know, giving their uh, excellent instructions. Yeah. yeah. Hands down my favorite corner uh, in the world. I mean, the, these guys, and you know, what's the crazy stuff. So I always said this, I even said this to, Hey, it's almost look like he don't look like an MMA coach. He looked like he owns a pizza here, you know. Um, and and I I always have a fantasy that he used to own a pizza here, you know. And then the kids from the neighborhood, and then he's teaching them Chinese kung fu in the back, you know, in the basement. You know what I'm saying? After you do the garlic knots, I'm gonna t hey, I'm gonna teach you Chinese kung fu. <laughs> You know, actually, yeah. there was a, uh, he had a, an automotive business. He was. He was oh yeah. And in the back, he, I think I believe I'm pretty sure in the back of the he had a little gym set up, and then that right, close enough. Close in enough. the movie version, my version, he's gonna have a fucking pizza here. But <laughs> fair enough. Movie, it's like so, movie, be perfect. Now, so, oh. now, last last uh, last time we were on um, when I was on Fight Island, I was on Fight Island with Sarah, and so I was there uh, when all that stuff was going on with the um, with with Diego and the taping. Remember the coach? 
Oh, like man. coming after Sarah and all that. Do you guys remember? What was that again? I don't remember. Do you remember Diego Sanchez's coach was coming after Matt and everything, and they were like no. all mad at him? Uh -uh. Not... You uh, don't remember that? No, okay. I don't remember. Fuck. Yeah. That weird guy. Oh, yeah. you mean the guy who? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that guy. Oh, right. Uh -huh. And so while he was there, he came up and like completely bum rushed Matt and Dean at lunch. Uh, and that's so not a good Dean idea. Filming. No, it was just it was just totally uh, crazy. And I just wanted to say, like Matt, it, it it's interesting because he is obviously an incredible coach and an incredible fighter himself. But like he's also now like this lightning rod for people. Like everybody knows who he is, and they just all. I don't know, like he gets, I feel like he probably deals with more BS than he even like deserves. No, he definitely, I'm, the thing is he's he's great at deal with, dealing with BS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't <laughs> want to get into it with that fucking guy. Yeah. He's, he, you're dead in the water. He, 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 he's, he knows, he, he knows what the fuck, how to deal with people for sure, you know? I know. That, he, yeah, he's no nonsense. The, but the two he of them. Somebody, he clear, like some guy in a diner one time like was trying to cause some stuff and he shut him down. I was in, in Vegas after. Uh, oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hall of Fame. And he got into right. it, the Hall of Fame. He was there with his wife and kids and some guy was getting crazy. And mo most people would probably just sit there and, you know, kind of look at the guy disrespecting everybody or whatever it was. But Matt steps in and, and didn't beat the guy up. He just kind of took down, and and I'm sure that yeah. guy was hung over the next day and <laughs> it was all over the news. Every yeah, day. I mean, it was humane the way he dealt with the fucking it guy. Was. It could have been a lot worse. It could um, have been, for sure. But I love, I, I had, years ago, I had uh, Hey Longo on a podcast I used to do, and, uh, you know, he was talking about, have you ever seen picture of when, when he was young and like in the scene going to the discos and shit like that? Matt? No. Or Ray, uh, oh, Ray. He hey. said no, but was he full, did he have the gold chains? He, yeah, he was, and he was Chan, and he looked like a different person. You understand? Uh, I bet he was kind of hot. He was, he, you ever seen picture of that, uh, Al? Yeah, yeah, there's a few, there's a few of them in the gym of, uh, of him when uh, you know when they first got into the UFC with Matt and um, yeah 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 and and he's the type of guy you know he had to wear that Italian horn and stuff like nice. that you know the big and, uh, big yeah, color. And I, I, yeah. I asked him about like I said like what kind of fragrance you used to wear high karate or some shit like that and he was like no you know Renato um, I think it was I used to wear Shalimar. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, at that time I was wearing Shalimar. And My I mom just, wore Shalimar. I lost it. But the fact, you think about him, he's like, yeah, I got that Shalimar. I, you know, yeah. Renato, I, I, at the time I was wearing, I think it was Shalimar I was wearing. <laughs> Renato, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's something else. He's like, and also when I saw that guy at the years ago, I saw him also, before I had met him in person, I saw him at the, MMA awards, you know, uh -huh. and he like hugged me as if we knew each other for years. And he's like, "Hey, Renato, blah blah blah." And then he goes, "You got to come to Long Island." He said, like, "We're gonna feed you," yeah. you know, like talk, that's the first thing he said. You come here, we're gonna feed you, yeah. and it's probably true now. Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna feed me. Oh, uh, you got. He, they know the spots, that's for sure. We go, we go after the. I'm looking forward to the. Always look forward to the post fight celebrations. We had a lot of guys. Uh -huh that have been fighting and winning and stuff. And then once there's like a little break from the craziness, mm -hmm. everybody gets together. We go to Eddie's Pizza in New Hyde Park. Uh, uh, can't beat it. Hey, so do you like fighting at home? You know, because, um, you know, I've been out at, at, at Sarah Longo. I was filming some stuff with Chris there a couple times. Um, and a few years back, like when he was fighting Kelvin, you know, on Long Island and stuff. And then I was working with him when we were at MSG that first time. His hand was still kind of jacked up. So he was working the desk with me and stuff. But I know it's one of those things where sometimes everybody's like, yeah, I want to fight and I want to have a home crowd. But then the thing is, is when you're actually fighting at home in New York, it's like everybody wants a ticket and everybody wants a piece of you. So, you know, there's a positive and a negative to that. I'm just curious how you feel about it. Oh, uh, I think I like it. Yeah. I think I kind of rise to the occasion. Uh, yeah. The more people, the more eyes on me. The uh, I know that it's going to be a New York crowd and mm -hmm. going to energize me and and really push me 
through the fight for sure. Wait, so this one's gonna be in New York? This next fight here? Yeah, this is at Madison Square Garden. So it's oh, basically East God, Coast, I, West Coast. I didn't Coast. even know that. It's 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 it's, it's you know. You powers is gonna be double strength. It's, Imagine yeah, the it's, power. it's East Coast versus West Coast rap. Uh, so. Imagine the power of Hey Longo and Matt Sarah once they've had a home cooked meal, boha. You know what I'm saying? And slept in their own bed. Imagine that. It's gonna be. It's gonna be something else. Al, you're gonna smell the gobble ghoul on their breath. <laughs> you're gonna smell the the what's the one? Oh. What's the not the gobble ghoul but the fucking one? A brajol. What is gobble by the, the way? The brajol. What gobble ghoul? Is it like a sausage? Look, a, a white no. I I. I a person who's not Italian like me and like me and Al over here, uh, we would you would call it capicola ham, capicola. Yeah, capicola, right? But okay. that's not. But if you go, if you try to order that in an Italian deli, they're gonna go get the fuck out of here, <laughs> and they're gonna go. You mean gabagool? Gabagool. Okay, I just didn't know what it was. Just like how they say mozzarella. Yeah. Mozzarella. Mo you don't say so a I've mozzarella. I've been to Italy. Huh? I've been to Italy, so that's not the same thing, Paul. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> oh, that's like saying, "Oh, I know how things are in uh, in in Jamaica, Queens. I've been to Africa. <laughs> it's not the same. You understand? Definitely not the same. You're right. It's the different stuffs. You're if, right. You know, this ain't Ven noted. Venice. This is Sheep's Head Bay over here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, but uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, they, they say the gabugu. Anyway, enough about the gabugu. Um, what I wanted to ask you, oh, I got it. This is something that's stuck in my craw, my brother. Uh -oh. This is very, this is very, this is disheartening to me when I found this because I was going to show Karen Bryant. What? They took down one of my favorite stuffs, and I think hopefully in one of my old posts, I still have that one. What the fuck happened to you and Chris Weidman Oyster Bay jewelry commercial? Oh. That was the oh. greatest thing ever. What? Did you have that removed from the internet? Something about checking your wallet, right? No. Tap out your bank account. Yeah, he goes, yeah, he goes, this, this, this is where, uh, Wyman go, this is where my hang, or whatever. And then he goes, but this is her rent. You know, and then he it comes in and so it's like, good. don't tap out your wallet. Your wallet. Like, <laughs> yo. I had that shit. I showed that to anybody who would listen, anybody who would watch that shit. And then I wanted to, sh I didn't know if you saw that one. So oh, I was good. like trying to found it today. I was like, where the fuck is this shit? I even went to past stuff, not on YouTube, just to uh, other shit to find it. And it was un taken down from every stuff, even forums like uh, undergrounds and stuff. Really? Yeah. Like somebody, I think Weidman's people was like, get hit of the Oyster Bay commercial. <laughs> oh, maybe the, maybe the, the uh, the time ran out on it and they took it away. It was on on the local news station here. Oh, at, I bet. At like uh, at all hours of the night and everything. I would be I'd be what? news twelve. It was on news twelve. You you'd be scrolling through news twelve. I was in the doctor's office and don't tap. Now, it. were you proud of it or were you embarrassed by it? No, I was proud of it. That thing was awesome. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? It doesn't get much better than that. People were going, don't tap out your bank account. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, no, don't tap out your bank account. I go, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't you do it. That's bank. New York. That's New York style. That's my buddy, my buddy Jared. He, he owns the, the, the jewelry gallery of Oyster Bay. So nice. it was like, what do I got to do to get you guys in a commercial? And I think Wyman well, got a Rolex out of it. Oh, nice. shit. Okay, and what did you got? Was the champ at the time? I might have got like a thousand bucks, two thousand. I like that. That's enough. But the the joy that it provided a lot of people. You know? Totally. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, it was so good. That Plus, was people calling out to you. You know, like here, everybody's too cool for school. You don't. They don't do yeah. that. There in New York, they'd be like, "Hey, yo, what's the yo. Hey, yo, that's my man, boy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was. I... Uh, it was. Um, oh shit! No, I'm not gonna remember his name. The, From the Bay? Mets player. Who's the freaking Mets player? Uh, I, an old one or a new one? Oh, Kevin. Uh, I mean, um, old one. Yeah, Kevin. Hernan Keith Hernandez. Yeah, Keith Hernandez. He was in oh, the. Oh shit. He was on oh. the original jewelry gallery of Oyster Bay. 
and then Chris won the title, and I was in the UFC. At the oh, right. Got into the UFC. I was at Jared's friend. So for a year, we did it. It was like a year. And I think now they're back to Keith Hernandez. No. <laughs> oh, God. I, you, you know what? But you're in the same conversation as Keith Hernandez now, you know? That's, Pretty great. It's incredible, right? That's not too shabby. The lineage is Keith That's Hernandez, Keith. Weidman, you. I like that shit. Well, and I know what you mean about the, the commercial thing I did. Um, a few years back, I did an infomercial with Cindy Crawford for, you know, like Meaningful Beauty. And it was, a, cool. you know, it, it was great. And like you said, like it was really fun, and she was totally cool. And I made I made bank, so I would love to do one of those again. But it was the weirdest thing is you'd like check like you know you'd be at work or whatever, yeah, you like check into the hotel and you're like, oh, check me out, and like you go places, you're like, check me out or whatever. Yeah. And it was it was like it played all the time, and then people would see it around the world. And I remember it was like I was working for Showtime Boxing at the time, and like I remember going somewhere and like Gary Shaw's giving me grief. He's like, oh, look at your skin or whatever. Yeah. It's, uh, what was know, the product but it, called? But it was great. Could I look that one up? Yeah, it's on YouTube. What's the product? Um, I think. Uh, but it was great. It was like it, it, Cindy Crawford and, and Mario Hemingway. And it was for... Damn, Cindy um, Crawford. Mm. She, yeah, she, she still looked good for her. She looked awesome. God, she was I, so nice. Yeah, you a single great. man, uh, Aya Quench? I'm a single man. I like really? to hear that. Stay single, my brother. Uh, yeah. Good got, because the after party. Boy, where I gotta find a nice one to settle down with at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get a nice yes. one every night. The crazy one. I get back to you. What's that? I love you. I but settle you down don't... with a nice one every night. This is true. This yeah, is but great. I come back to you. I want to be with you. <laughs> it's good, fellas. Good stuff. But you know what? Now, not for nothing, and I'm a woman saying this. Don't pick up a girl at this time of year. Now, at this point, you just wait until February 15th. Don't pick up one anywhere. They're gonna. They don't need that one. Just do your stuffs. That's it. We're just doing our stuffs. Yeah, do your stuffs. Take care. You got. You got the whole half of your life to fuck around with that bullshit. Now, yeah. now you just. You know, just enjoy. You have your career. You You're got still your a hair. young man now. How old are you now? Thirty-four. Oh my. Yeah, but you look like ten years younger than you that, time. and you have a full head of hair. You got Fuck, time. Just act like you're 10 years younger than that. Please, my brother. Don't make the mistake I have. I've got kids everywhere and they're all over the fucking place. Um, and, you know, people busting my balls. Uh, um, you know, it's better to be uh, you're a lone wolf, for her. The lone know? wolf. Stay the hungry. Lone. You have to stay hungry. Oh. You know, because look at Adrian, you know, in hockey. She's like, you can't win hockey. <laughs> you don't need somebody telling you that shit. And like telling you, you he wants you to hit Chaya and stuff like that, you know? And then you got to get into argument. Hockey is getting into argument with that one, you know, all the time. The stress, that. the stress, the agita. They give you agita, marron. You understand? Yeah, we don't need, we don't need no agita. I don't need that one. And then know, if but... they're jealous, they give you malokia, malokia. But, you understand? They give you that family, one. Your family is supportive, though, because I've I've seen them. We were up in Canada, and I've seen like they they are very oh, very much your support system, though. At the best, yeah. Yeah. You got that big uh, family? You got the big Italian family? Uh, yeah. I got I got aunts, uncles. They're all they're all gonna be at this one. If my uncle's flying in from California. Nice. Uh, my sister will be there. Yeah, we got uh. We got we got a crew going to this one. The, everybody from Wanto is going to be there. It's going to be uh, from where? From where? Wa Wanto, Wanto. Shout out to Wanto, my hometown. Oh, New York. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wanto. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Right, we're gonna, I it, thought you said like it was war torn, uh, something like war torn. War -torn. I, I was like, where the fuck is this my guy been training? Um, <laughs> Okay, you know what I, 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 you're talking about your uncles and stuff like that. You know, maybe you and Weidman and the whole crew, imagine if the whole Longo Sarah thing did a fucking one of those Olive Garden commercials. I know it's not the best, I know it's not the best Italian food, but you can imagine, you're like, when you're here, my team, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like my uncle, your, your family, you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine? You would I, do that one. I think it would be great. I think it would be, uh, uh, it would be the sequel to Don't Tap Out Your Bank. <laughs> I think so. You can Im imagine unlimited breadstick, and then you got that one dark uh, cousin, uh, Aljo, Aljo, Al The Aldo. one dark cousin. Yeah, he's a he's a Sicilian. He's Ciciliano. That's it. He's in. Yeah. 
What is it they call them? They, no, they call them the word for the eggplant, right? They call them. No, they don't call them that. That's this is patch. True romance and true romance. No, I thought you were talking about. They don't call him that at fucking long. No, 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 no. I'm not saying they call. Oh, Aldo okay. That. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, Moulinian. Moulinian. Right? Yeah. Come on, we know that. <laughs> but I think the heel word is Milajan. I think that's the heel word for eggplant is Milajan. No. Uh, you speak Italian? You might get you might get canceled for saying this. Or not. I can say that. I, I I know what this word is. It's a Moulinian. It's a Milajan. It's things that exist in the world for her. Okay. Oh. I can talk about what they can't cancel me. I said so much stuff. Say so it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many years. They can't give me no more. You understand? I'm free. I'm free as a bird. Yeah. Okay. So Al, I know you need you need to get to bed soon, and we're not going to keep you forever. But I do need to know. Uh, this is something that we we can continue after you go. The debate, yeah, the pizza pe pizza is my thing. Okay, so I had one the other day that was amazing. It was deep dish and whatever, and I put some stuff on it that I'm sure a lot of people uh, might balk at. Oh, uh, no. I is there is there an absolute. F you, no effing way am I eating a pizza with something on? Like, is there one topping that is forbidden? Or how or are you pretty liberal with your pizza? I think anything go. I mean, I think is there's good pizza and there's bad pizza. And it could have, it could be good with anything on it or it could be bad with anything on it. I don't think. Wait right a second. So okay. you, in other words, you condone pineapple and ham? I, I. I'd rather it bacon, to be honest with you. Yeah, but you 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 condone a pineapple on a fucking pizza? I do. You you know what? You, Shocking. You, this is a the toy. Uh, I I can't. <laughs> mo, go, mo. You got it. It's so good. Bacon. Oh, it's gotta be bacon. This is. I don't know. Some of my please. Some of my. <laughs> I'm gonna get a heart attack here. Some of my Italian. Some of my paisan out there. To talk to I, me I, here. I, I, be, I guess. I might not be too proud of it, but at like, at at three, four a.m. late night, couple drinks, you gotta order Domino's, Domino's bacon, do bacon, and there's no no good pizzerias are open; they're all closed. If you got, that's true, if you're gonna go with Domino's. You, okay, there's, you <laughs> there's pepperoni, there's meat lover, there's and if you want to get crazy, you go with the pineapple and the bacon. What about meatball? That's a good one. Can't go wrong with meatball. A good meatball is great. See, when great. I was young, in, 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 when I used to go to New York, I used to get a meatball slice. I, you know where they slice up the meatballs thin or whatever on there? I put some hot pepper on there. Yeah. You know, maybe get a Jamaican beef patty, put some fucking... On there. Oh, come now on. you're talking. You know, and then they, but they would cut it open and put some, like, there was one place I used to put, I know it's sacrilege, but they used to took the beef patty and cut it open and put fucking sauce and, and, and cheese on it and put it in the, no. in the oven. And it, 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 at first you go, what are they doing? But then you have it and you, especially when you're drunk and shit, and you're like, God, are you? that's something. And you have one of those orange whip or whatever, you know, yes. like, or bang or whatever they call. Orange whip or orange bang. Or you something. You, of course, you got it. Well, that I, I get a hot dog uh, with sauerkraut and onions and get a you hoo But that was years ago. I don't eat that shit no more. <laughs> yeah. Not a big, yeah. Yeah, I'm, all that stuff. I mean, I think you could probably, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm all over the place with my pizza. I think you could, you could go with anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm more of a vegetable person. Veg but so, Good. yeah, like, like mushrooms and onions type thing. Like, like, that kind of thing. Like, it has to have onions for me. If it doesn't have onions, get out. Like, that's, I'm an onion girl. But I What about sausage I'm, and peppers? Pepper, I like, but I, I like pepper. I like peppers too. But I would mostly do, like, yeah, onions. But I'm, I'm not a hole that's like, can I get, like, spinach on my pizza? Or, like, you know, basil and leaves. And, like, I, so the pizza I got the other day had actually, like, had, like, artichoke hearts on it. And I know a lot of people would be like, that's not for pizza. Um, but I, but on the pineapple thing, like I, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I would never personally order it myself. But if somebody orders it, I'll eat it, but I wouldn't order it myself. Does Matt Sarah condone that kind of thing? Pineapple or, or Hey Longo, they condone that? Well, Matt's a big gluten-free guy. He's got, uh -huh. he's on the cauliflower crust. So I mean, okay, I don't even now. I, 
I'm not listening to you now. What? what Did they take hey, his New York card? Did they think they, they revoked it? I know that Hey Longo don't want go near no fucking uh uh uh, uh artichoke crust or whatever. <laughs> uh, Ray, yeah, Ray's not Ray's. They have good ba good. Uh, they have arguments about that. And so so Hey Hey would not condone. Would Hey condone or not condone you eating a a, a pizza with 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 pineapple on it? I'm gonna say he's probably not about it. He's not a fan of that one, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta listen to that. You gotta listen to your coach, boy. Yeah. What are you gonna? So do? you tell, hey, I said that, and you tell, you tell Matt Sarah, I said, shame on you, shame on you. I think so. He he does the cauliflower crust gluten free pizza, but no, he ate he he'll eat like eight of them. <laughs> so it, that knock out the the benefits. I don't. Yeah. He says it doesn't. He says the gluten free is the only problem. He says eat four Hegula ones. He says he says he can't do it. I don't know. He says I actually took them some pizza that night in uh, in Long Island after Chris's fight. Like we were, or it was after weigh-ins or something. But I remember Ray and Matt were back there, and yeah, like we had a bunch of pizza and brought them. Oh, thank God! You know, like yeah, helping them out for sure. Those guys are great. I They've always been just like. They're they're such like royalty in the MMA world. Every like nobody doesn't like them. Yeah, yeah. you can't not like those guys, Boha. No, I mean the game's so long and they've like you said, they've they treat everyone the, the right way. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, if you got a problem with them, then it's probably you that, that has the problem, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I miss those kind of guys. They make me feel like uh, you know, I spent a lot of years in New York and when I see that guys they make me feel like I, I consider New York is like my second home than here, you know. And so when I when I see those guys, they make me feel at home, you know. Yeah. Uh, Just even to hear them talking, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But how long ago when you were in New York for? Uh... I mean, when Chris, did you guys do something with Queen? Oh yeah, but I was just, I was just visiting. You know, I, I'm, I, I have a lot of friends there. I have some family. I have, I have, um, you know, I have business dealings in their holdings, business holdings. Actually, Capoeira Studios, huh? Didn't go that well though, didn't it? Not for Chris Weidman, for huh? But <laughs> you know what? Look, we, that that's water on 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 onto the bridge at this point because. Um, uh, we made up after that, you know, he saw the air of his ways. He got a little, he came out his face, you know, he was talking to me and, you know, he was talking to me like he thinks who he is, you know? And then so, but after that happened, we, you know, we later on, we was, you know, buried the hatchet. I heard his, all his people wanted to came after me. Uh, you know that Chris Weidman, his father, when he saw the video, he was like, who is that Chris? Who is this fucking guy? Who did this to you or whatever? Like, he, he was very upset about that one. And, and Chris said, oh, God, I, he, he, you know, he didn't know how to tell him, you know. But he's uh, a good sport, to say the least. Very, you know? very good sport is, uh, yeah, I think, I think he learned his lesson from that one. If I, if I remember correctly, he might have thrown you. He might have thrown you, though. It's a valuable lesson. Well, I'll tell you what. I, we, me and him may or may not have been, or a couple of us, because the Miller brothers, make their own beer you know they like hicks even though they came from jersey you know the miller brothers oh yeah jim jim miller yeah so, but they come from jersey but they like come from the part of jersey jersey where they like hicks you know they like country boys and they make they you know they look like credence clearwater revival they do <laughs> jim jim does look like the old timey yeah fighter guy like the 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 guy that, yeah like he make a whiskey in the bathtub I love him though he's awesome oh of course no they're great guys and Dan you know but but uh, they made their own beer the Miller brothers made their own beer and it was very strong and they gave oh. us these homemade twenty twos of beer so this was I think the the time before this was like the day the last day that Chris could do any kind of eating or drinking whatever he want. Uh, before he had to get into camp, you know? Mm -hmm. So everybody was having that once, you know? And then when it was time to get into the interview, the champers started to flare, and me and him got into it. Now, he, you know, I guess you would have thought he was supposed to took me down just a regular double leg, you know? Oh, but no. he decided to make an executive decision to do a, a German suplex on your Uncle Hanaj. And let me tell you something. It don't look that bad on the tape. 
you know, like when you see something from above, it look worse than for the people down there. They're like, why he don't just jump? You know, it, but when you up there, it yeah. felt like I went to the fucking ceiling and came down and I came down high on my fucking neck. I was, I had a, I couldn't move my neck like that for like a year. Yeah, I had like a pinch fucking nerve. I finally went to a chiropractor and fixed me up, but my <laughs> neck was fucked up from that one. Yeah, yeah, I felt like electricity when that shit went. But you I'm a soldier, I power through that. Couldn't tell, you push right through it. I push right through that, the show must go on for her, you know? And he, and he had, not for nothing, I had to, I had to taught him a lesson for her, you know? I hated to did that because I like the kid. He's a good kid, boy. He is a good kid. He is a good kid. And listen, speaking of good kids, we got to let Al, he's in camp, Hinato. Yeah, but he's getting the inspiration, you oh, know? Fire now. He's, yeah, from the old ones, the greats. Speaking of Keith Hernandez, speaking of Doc <laughs> Gooden, you know? Daryl Strawberry. You understand? Mike Piazza, another paisan. Hatch. You know, Uncle Hanach. Okay. Do you want to know this guy here? True story, real quick. I went to I went to a Yankees game one time, uh, and it was uh, Red Sox Yankees. And I am actually from Boston. I've lived in I lived All in right. Manhattan for seven years. I absolutely freaking love New York. Absolutely love New York. Yeah. But when it comes to baseball, like you can't you can't you know you can't be like a fan of both of those teams, right? Like so no, you can't. So I'm going, but I'm like, okay, so I'm rooting for Boston, but I'm like, just don't say anything, you know? I'm like, just we can't like we can't act like we're from Boston. Or yeah, anything. you can't do that. And we had great seats, and we were, like, on the third baseline. And literally, I remember at one point, maybe, I don't know if it was seventh inning stretch or whatever, the guys in front of me all fully in their Yankees gear, fully blinked out with the gold chains and all this stuff, they were they had a conversation about their bail bondsman. <laughs> and they were like, oh, my guy's really good. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was, like, a full-on, legit, like, <laughs> yeah. like, insider story about bail bondsman. I was like, F yeah, New York, right on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know about, about Fenway, but uh, the the Yankee Stadium is in the fucking hood. I mean that's and it was that's the old the one. Yeah, it was the old stadium. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that shit back in the day, back in the early days when I used to went there, there was see, the Bronx was the Bronx. I mean, it's yeah. probably still somewhat the Bronx now. I okay. think that's not that gentrified, no. No, uh, it's still it's still it's still the Bronx. The yeah. Bronx, still the Bronx, that's for sure. I have family in that area. I don't know if you know the Bronx, but in Burnside, you know. No, it's a I'm tough. A, it's it's like well, a very Dominican area. I'm an island. I'm, I'm an islander. I'm yeah, an if you have no business to be there, you don't want to be in in there. Yeah, you, yeah. Well, no. stadium in and out kind of thing. Yeah, get out of right. there. Right, right. But you just, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, Hanato, we need to let him get some sleep. Okay. We got any more questions for this guy? Uh, uh, fuck. I feel I like there's so quick, much gold to be mined. I know, but I just need to uh, because I don't want to. Be, I don't want to be responsible for him not training well tomorrow. True, true. You probably, ah. you only have one or a couple two days of training left anyway, right? Because then you're gonna just sort of power down next week and just sort of. That's it. We got a couple hard days, and then it's make weight, cruise to the finish line. That's it. You know. Does anybody have question? Like a couple of the fan, any question? I feel like there's so much shit we could ask this fucking guy. Well, people are asking Andy. Andy H eight six three is asking: Is the real estate a buyer's or seller's market right now? Sell. It's a seller's market right now. People are, people are fighting over houses. We just. Oh, I got uh, a question. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do um, like a, a jewelry store type commercial for your real estate business? Uh, right now I'm just focused on fighting. After the fight. Honest. After the fight, because I could be in that one. Imagine I can play whatever you want in there, and we can we can throw some idea around. You know. You do that. We could yeah. definitely that. I would love to do that. You know, do a local commercial and stuff. It can be like a Carvel's type commercial. Carvel, Fudgy the Whale. Yeah, Fudgy the Whale. Tom Carvel. Fudgy, Fudgy, Fudgy yeah. the Whale. So, yeah, somebody was asking also about, um, um, uh, uh, da, 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 yeah, but the real estate, there's a few questions about real estate and like how, how you know, like how much you do in that? How invested you are in that? How much of a big, a big part of your life is that? Uh, it's. Uh, I mean, Volante just sold his house, helped him sell his house, buy bought a house uh, in his old days. The house, the town he grew up in, Levittown. So his kids will go to the same 
the same high school that he went to. That's, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marab bought a house. I helped Marab buy a house. Oh, oh Marab. Marab. We had Marab on the show. Weeks ago. Marab and Aljo were on. Yeah. Uh, Marab didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. He didn't know. He knows. He knows. He might have. He might have been playing around with you. Oh, knows. okay. Well, he my accent. He he claimed that I had an accent, but I feel like he had more accent than me. Boy. Uh, yeah. I, I I mean I I help the friends. I help my friends right now. When when I first got into it, I was working with a lot of you know I was I was injured and I didn't yeah. know if I was fighting much more or what I was gonna do. I had surgery and didn't know how the surgery was gonna go, so I was. I was selling old ladies' houses. I was doing. I was doing it all. So I got my. I definitely uh, learned. I, I put. I put in a hard year or two in in the real estate. Mm -hmm. So, I, I I cut my teeth and now I kind of um, help my friends out. Really, what I like to do is more on the investment side. I like analyzing properties and finding. Um, like Marab got a good investment property that he makes. He makes some decent cash on. Um, so that's what I, that's what I like to do. I got a couple friends that bought investment properties and I got a couple investment properties myself. So I'm kind of, kind of switching over. I learned the market. I learned yeah. the, the ins and outs and, and the Long Island, uh, the Long Island way, how to make, how to make a buck and make some, some good returns. Can, can you teach me how to like buy some slums in a low income neighborhood and then just put the poor folks in there and then don't take care of the plumbings or nothing. Please like don't. Please um, don't. Wait, I got a question. True. You mentioned, now you mentioned, this one is for Karen Branch. Now you mentioned Jean Valanche, right? Yeah. Um, you know, when I had uh, Hey Longo on my podcast, he said that Jean Valanche have a legendary Bastogne. <laughs> is that true? He said he had a Brajol on there. It is legendary. Jean Valanche is, is, is legendary in all ways. I'll tell you that. You know what he said? In fact, hey, Longo said, Renato, I got to tell you, you know, there's a there's an old wives' tale. He said that it's it's said that if you, when you die in your next life, you're going to want to come back as Jean Volante's cock. Now, is that true? That is definitely, that is definitely true. Okay. Well, that, you know, it's <laughs> good to know. At least for Ken, it's good for you too. Next time you see his fight, you can at least envision that he have a he have a you know he have a big bashkon banging no, around in there. I in the venom. I didn't want to know the, that. The snake venom is in there. <laughs> oh man. Mm, God, are you? I, Look, I'm not making this shit up. Am I high or am I wrong? <laughs> Tell me, am I am I lying? Am I lying? Volante is a Volante is a happily uh, that guy. I've never seen that guy. So happy, and right, he's got. You mean he's because got... he have a big cock? <laughs> yeah, of course he's happy. It, it can't hurt. It can't hurt. But well, it can hurt some people, but not him. Not are you? <laughs> well, <Yeah. I'm> <laughs> uh, on that note, that's yeah. gonna be a good note for us to stop, and then you can. Yeah. You know what? You can simmer, and that can be the last thought in your mind before you go into drift off into dreamland for her. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, you can dream about that. So listen, Al, I think you and Bobby are the featured prelim, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I think we. I should be. I, I think you are. I know. So which you uh, better be. Means, yeah, so I believe usually ESPN puts the prelims uh, for a pay-per-view usually there on ESPN. So that would mean that you guys would be fighting it basically – Sort of 6.30, 6.35-ish, you know, uh, or 6.25-ish to 6.35-ish area um, on Saturday, uh, you know, two Saturdays from now. So people should definitely want to tune in. What? Our New York time, yeah, come on, we can't do this again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, when yeah. he's not right. training. Well, when no, you're not but training. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because the pay-per-view starts at, oh, you're right, shoot, I'm on L.A. time again. <laughs> Yeah, but when you're not training, you can come came on here again. You know, when you're not, you know, when you're just doing your stuff. When you're going out to the club with Hey Longo before you go couple, to the club, I have a couple of drinks. We'll have a party. Oh, uh, after the after the fight, absolutely. Yeah, throw absolutely. on some Shalimar. <laughs> Shalimar, a bar race Shalimar. 
Yeah, come on, bro. Hey, and listen, if you are out in LA, yeah, you know, definitely look us up. Um, uh, Hanato lives in Hollywood. I live not far from there, so. Yeah, sneak me some Shalimar, you know? I'm sure, I, I'm sure Hey Longo has some dead stock, like, that he kept in his closet of just unopened Shalimar. I want to get my hands on that one. Absolutely. Can you imagine, Maron, can you imagine me with also the added Shalimar? No. Unstoppable. It's too much. I, I, you, you, there's no stopping that one. Don't let, in fact, don't let me get a hold of that one. Too Fuck much. Too much. That. Al, thank you so much for staying up late. We really appreciate it. Uh, and, um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is, Paul Hunt. It is what it is, Paul Hunt. Yeah. Karaya, come on. Yeah, Karaya. But you're, but you're awesome. Karaya, you are, you are uh, yeah, you're just always Kara. so fun to, to talk to and Kara. obviously incredible, incredible fun to watch fighting. You have never been in a boring fight. Like, you just always throw down. And um, we didn't need the Khabib fight to know how great you are. So we, we knew from day one. So just best of luck to you. Keep your hands up. That, that Go for it. Fight, though, right? Let's bring that one up. Yeah. <laughs> no. But we love you, my brother. You. And we're going to be hooting for you, you know? Love you. Yes. Remember, but don't get into the bullshit. Don't fall for the tricks. Oh, uh, he's going to be the one falling for the bullshit. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. We can't wait to see that one. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be great. Thank you, Al. Appreciate it. Have a good hey, night. Tell everybody we said hi, too, okay? Yeah, we love you. know we love that team. Yeah. So, yeah, tell everybody and you, what's up. Tell Chris Weidman that. I forgive him, and he can come on here if you if you want. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I will, I will let him know. Okay. Yeah, God on you. Okay. Right. Ciao. Ciao, my brother. Bye. Yeah, you know we could have Chris on sometime too. That would be fun. Um, oh yeah, look, we still got good. I have quench. I know. I you look, can't figure bye. out how to get out of here. No, there he goes. Oh, okay. Bye. You know, you know, he's in camp. You know, obviously his fight is next weekend, so need to make sure that he gets some sleep. Uh, because, yeah. you know, I don't want to screw up his, his so whole, When like, I first heard about the fact that, like, we fucked him up on the time schedule, you know, I felt bad. But then once you got him here, you're like, ah, don't go yet. You know, like, you, you want to you wanna keep that one.